play the missions. Yeah, terrible. Okay, anyway. Okay, everyone, welcome to Quarter Twins, the podcast. Oh. Quarter Twins, the podcast. The so podcast. Now. Quarter Twins, <laughs> the podcast. Colon, no. The- Quarter Twins hyphen the podcast <laughs> colon weekly review. Colon. Weekly review, yeah. <laughs> the podcast show with only one question. Um, have you heard the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise? Oh. I think you I think we've used that before. I think you've said that before. It's probably but it's especially relevant today. I think we... uh, I think the Dorito Good Boy one was my favorite. <laughs> Do you remember Rito that? Good boy? <laughs> you remember? What do you mean? <laughs> Works. Welcome to the Quarter Twins Podcast Weekly Review Podcast. We are the Quarter Twins, and we are the podcast with only one question. How many Doritos till I am a good boy? <laughs> <laughs> good boy. <laughs> Dang, I missed that one. Dang, somewhere. you don't remember that? It was classic. I got, I got tired of looking through every episode. I was like, I got to skip Fair some enough, of these. fair enough. Um, you got some good Today we are... Uh, yeah, today we're talking about the acolyte, mm, and mm, mm, mm. it's 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 almost as if we talked about the acolyte in its entirety uh, last <laughs> week. Also, wait, this is we record we're recording, we recorded a week ago, and yeah. now we're recording again. A Look week at us! Later. <laughs> we haven't done that in uh, ever a year. <laughs> no, we've done that. There was that time where we were recording episodes every week. Yeah, right let's get back to that. We actually did that for a while. Yeah, let's just start yeah, doing that yeah. again. Well, as long as we have Star Wars to talk about, yeah. which well, is something we never talk about, as we mm-hmm. discussed last right, week. Right, right, right. We talked about the Acolyte before the finale aired, because I was like, if the if the show doesn't end well, I'm not even going to want to talk about it. Right. Uh, if, the, if, the, if it follows the trend of most um, Disney plus Star Wars, or even maybe Marvel shows, as we might even discuss later, oh. um, it follows their trend as having a um, less than uh, satisfying conclusion in their mm-hmm, last mm-hmm, episode mm-hmm. that seems to be the trend if that happens with the acolyte i'm not really going to be interested in talking about it so we'll go ahead and theorize as evidenced by ahsoka where we were pretty hype on the show and the last episode came out and we both thought it was pretty bad yeah um probably the, but the, the last episode came out and here we are of the acolyte and here we are talking about it again because we have things to say because it's actually pretty good it, dang it uh star wars <laughs> is back. pretty good dang it um, Joshua said that this is the best Star Wars Disney Plus show of all time. Yep. Uh, that was out a of all of them ever released. <laughs> that was an error. Uh, he thinks it's the best one. Nope. Uh, of all time. So wrong. We know that is true. <laughs> nope. You can't even find but your review reviews anymore. deleted now. Yep. It's so gone. There's not, not even proof. So go ahead and just take us to t- take us where you want to go because okay. you. Oh. I think you like this more than me a little bit. Mm-hmm. I really mm-hmm. like it, but I think you like it a bit more. So go ahead. Yeah. Uh, well, gee, um, Star Wars is back. Lightsabers, zhwim, zhim, 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 are back. Yep. Yep. Okay. <laughs> the Force is back and stronger. They've than never ever. been more back. They've right? never been back. Um, more yeah. back. Yeah, you're right. Um, more back. More back. And the dark side is different. Uh, and creepy mm. and hiding behind a rock and it's very exciting <laughs> I guess uh, yeah. yeah so we have we had the final episode of Star Wars Acolyte here today yep, 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 well yep. last Wednesday um, and we got some serious conclusions here we got a lot of we narrative did. ends tied up Shocking. characters fulfilled yeah. As well as hope for a future season two, question mark? Yeah. People are demanding a season two, and Disney will not listen, but it's going to be great. <laughs> um, I frankly I frankly couldn't believe that storylines were wrapped up and conclusions were had and, 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 and things were revealed and it's everything. Crazy. Like, there's still obviously unresolved things as we can talk about that sure. would lend itself to a season two mm-hmm. but as the season stands it's pretty much good to go pretty set yeah. everything we saw set up has been has completed an arc right you could say so that was very good to see it's very great i think um so so in my review on letterbox which is gone the biggest thing for me that i can remember 
was, like we're talking about, the main characters received uh, fulfilling endings to their characters, at least for now in this major moment in all of their lives, right? So yes. my four main characters are uh, Soul, Osha, and May, and Chimere. Kimmer? Chimere? Yep. So <clears throat> I've heard some people on TikTok saying Kimmer. I'm not a fan of that. Uh, also, yeah. I never remember anyone ever saying Chimere in this show ever. That's just a name that started. people started saying. I don't know where that came from. Yeah. He's the stranger. Know. Anyway. Maybe at the beginning when he was talking to when May he was when he was weirdo. working working at that shop thing. I don't yeah. know. I don't remember. But it's been so long since I watched this. I was <laughs> going to try to rewatch some of it, and I was like, nah, yeah. maybe not. Yeah. Uh, so those are the four main characters. And so we have... Uh, I think three out of the four. I, I'm a little iffy on May. We're not. I think she needs a second season to really understand where she's at at this point. But three out of those four characters are like, we are. We've completed their current arc, and they are now ready to be. They've been changed. Uh, they are. They have perished, um, or they have received the thing that they wanted, and so we have uh, a satisfying conclusion for 75% of the main characters. And yeah. that is exciting and forebodes well for a future season two. So I think what I'd like to, in general, talk about is Star Wars. Uh, the Disney mm. Plus uh, Star Wars, specifically, has, has, has released... Well, I have 12 Star Wars-based TV shows over here. Uh, from Disney Plus so many. that you can watch mm -hmm. on Disney Plus minus, uh, you know, some of the kitty kitty kittle ones. Uh, I don't have what is young it? Young Jedi of, Adventures. A, yeah, Young Jedi <laughs> Age of Resistance or something like that. Um, yeah. So we have uh, all of them over here, and I'd like to quickly rank them all, and then we'll go okay. we'll go further uh, with my plan here because I've I've constructed a bit of a plan. Um, yes. So at the top. The obvious number one uh, is Star Wars: The Clone Wars. Um, that's the right. best. That's the best one that there is. And you love it. You love it. Still. I do love Star Wars: The Clone Wars. It is my second favorite TV show of all time. That list has not changed. And uh, What's it's your perfect. first one. Uh, Adventure, Adventure time. time. Still. Yes, sir. Gotcha. Love that show. It's due for a rewatch. Where does Game of Thrones fit in there? Now that you watched it. Um, it is not in the top ten. The oh. final season is literally so narratively unsatisfying uh, that yeah. I probably won't watch it. I, I currently, I'm rewatching the show. I've just finished season four. I will not watch season eight probably. I hear. You. I think I'll. I think I'll get up to where the books are in the sure. show and then call it a day, um, yeah. and then read the books because I have the books over there and I still need to finish Dune Messiah. I'm so sorry, Dune Messiah. I have plenty of time so before sorry. the third movie co comes out, so we'll be all right. What's your number one? Do you have a number one? What are you feeling? My number one is still Andor. Wow. Uh, as we're talking about <laughs> Star Wars TV shows. It's definitely Andor. Uh, it's probably to no one's surprise. I love that show. I'm currently rewatching it on 4K UHD physical release. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Um, <clears throat> is that a steelbook? Yeah. It's a steelbook. Yeah, it's over there. Dang. Um, it's fantastic. It is... It's. I'm not going to say it's everything I want from a Star Wars show because, as I discussed, it's not actually everything I want from Star Wars because right. there's no lightsaber zwings womb, um, no zwings womb, <laughs> no zwings womb. But it's everything else that I want in terms of um, vibes and uh, screenplay and writing and mm -hmm. just an overall good time. You yeah, know, the the Tony me. Gilroy of it all. It's well, like it's. The three episode arcs is such a good idea, and you have um, twelve episodes total. It just makes the show feel like something you can rewatch as kind of a contained thing. Right. For me, I guess. Uh, <laughs> speaking for me personally, I feel like I can rewatch it in three episode increments and not lose track of where I'm at. I think I need um, to. I think I need to think of it that way because I keep thinking yeah. that it's long, and I just want to watch the prison arc. Yeah, but I have to start. At and the that's beginning. what's so good about it is you. You could start wherever you want. Um, you don't have to start at the beginning to watch the prison arc because they are, the prison arc and the first arc are pretty 
unrelated right narratively um you just don't see everything that led up to cassian being there but um and when he goes to that like dj beach planet yep uh in between <coughs> dj beach planet the DJ Beach Planet, because he just shows up there, and then they're like, "Hey, you're under arrest for running on the beach," and he's like, "What? What? Uh, you're sentenced to life in a in a slave prison. Sorry, guy. <laughs> okay, that's pretty intense. Yeah, uh, but yeah, it's Andor. It's Andor for me. Okay. Um, I have Andor second, and I would mirror everything you say except for the Zwing's womb is lacking. Um, I. I mean, I agree that like Star Wars is about the Zwing's womb and the Force and stuff. That's right, what right, makes right. it. That's what makes it Star Wars. But that yeah. stuff doesn't need to be in it for me, for it to still be Star Wars. If that right. makes any sense. I mean, at all. Cle- cle- clearly, I feel the same because it's my number one right. <laughs> of Star it's Wars like, shows uh, ever. Knowing that th- that stuff is is there exists at all, still yeah. somehow influencing a story that has none of it at all. Uh, yeah. Makes makes it even better for me, in my yeah. opinion. I think what I'm what I'm looking for still is the is the show that combines mm. everything that Andor is plus a little bit of force. Just a little zwing zwing. Okay. Just a little zwing zwing. <laughs> have you seen the acolyte uh, comes fairly close, Rogue One. but where the acolyte, I have seen Rogue One, but there's not really zwing zwing in there, have or you? the force really. What about uh, Darth Vader? No. Uh, well, he is in it. I forget <laughs> that he's in it. <laughs> right at the end. Good like the call. The most swings womb in the force you've That's ever seen. That's a good point. That's a good point. Um, but yes, I see what you're saying. Yeah, the, the Acolyte comes close. The Acolyte falls in the screenplay writing area mm-hmm. for me. Um, so it doesn't quite measure up to all the things that I want. I see. I see what you're saying. Yeah. So you got Clone Wars. You got Andor. Yeah. At, at number two. Um, Andor is my number one. My number two is probably. <laughs> it's a tough one. There's a lot of choices. It is a tough one. There's a how, lot of choices. How high will he put Clone Wars? How high will he put Ahsoka? Oh. These are his favorites. Everybody uh, knows. So if Andor's my number one, I'm uh-huh. going to say that. See, The Mandalorian is so hard because I love the first season. I think the first season is pretty much as perfect as it could have been. And then there are two other seasons, entire mm. seasons. The third one being very bad, and the second one being okay for me, pretty fun. Okay. So I'm tempted to put it at number two above, say, the acolyte potentially. I think I will just because I. Wow. wow. Number two, but also like. Uh, yeah. Just yeah. like the first season carries it all the way to the top. I guess. Well, I'm going to say that. Okay. Congrats. Uh, Thanks, man. I have Acolyte in, in the third spot. I'm actually going to be honest here, folks. Um, Let's go. I thought it was pretty good. And uh, we're going to talk about it a little bit later, I think. Um, and yeah. We'll get more in depth. So we'll, yeah. So uh, let's just continue on. With what you have. Um, what is that? Third? Yeah. My third one after... I mean, I think I would put Andor, Mandalorian, The Acolyte mm, mm-hmm. at number three as well. I think that's fair, which we will again. So we both have a number three. So yeah. What's your number four? I think we're pretty happy with that. I think a lot of people... I'm happy with it. I think a lot of people might be surprised. Maybe, Maybe not if they watch us. Uh, but if they are just like random internet people that come on and say, hello, hi, um, I'm yeah. Joshua, that's Jordan. Um, we love Star Wars more than you, uh, obviously, because you hate everything that's come out since 2015. Um, yeah. What's wrong with those people? Good I grief. don't know, man. They're, they're crazy people. But say lobby. Uh, I have Star Wars say Visions in the fourth spot, by the way. Star Wars Visions. Star Wars Visions slaps. This came out. How much right have you rewatched Visions, Joshua? Uh, I and will you ever rewatch Visions? I have rewatched episodes, several episodes from season one, multiple times. Um, I still talk about or think about the Village Bride, Lop and Oko, the duel, yeah. uh, the Ninth Jedi. 
There's another one, I think. No. Usually those four I'll rewatch sometimes that I like quite a bit. I haven't rewatched anything from season two, but the last one and the second one I remember really liking. The the horror one that you liked a lot. Oh, yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. The Shrieking Shack or whatever. Um, yes. And then the last one where she sings to the Kyber Crystals was pretty cool. And it's like <laughs> felt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that one quite a bit. I love um, Visions. I hope they keep doing it forever. Mm-hmm. It's just a fun, like, it, 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 also, it also carries a lot of, like, uh, love for Star Wars around the world, quite literally, with all the different studios making their each their own little stories. Yeah. Um, so it just it it has like uh, it has an extra metaphysical element to it, which I really sure. like. Um, obviously, that and doesn't we always when we. Sorry, go ahead. I was just just gonna say it. It doesn't really uh, always measure up, literally, with other Star Wars stories, because yeah. they all have to be confined to one episode. So we have a lot of open threads that we want tied up. Or like their yeah. entire own mm-hmm. seasons, um, and that'll never happen because that's the point of the show. But right, it's still really awesome. So, and yeah, I'm I'm also putting Visions at number four because whenever whenever we talk about Visions, we always say we wish we could the episodes that we love, we wish we could just have a full season of it. Right, and that's what I feel like. Like the Acolyte feels like that a lot of the time, where it feels like a full season of what could have been an episode of Visions. Like right. I can see them making an episode of Visions with, like, these two twin girls on this planet of witches, and, like, they're dealing with this, uh, the, the, they're doing the Ascension and all that. I can de- right. I, I can see that being an episode of Visions. There you go. Um, so it's super fun having a full season of it. And, yeah, I love Visions at number four. Um, I made my list it was faster because I haven't seen <laughs> any of the other things. Yeah, you can. Wait, let me put, let me put Clone Wars in here. You can I'll drop just, a bunch for you, of I'll go ahead and. I'll go ahead and put Clone Wars in here on After Visions, even though I don't really, because it's a it's better than the rest of these. I know that, even though I yeah. haven't watched it in its entirety. I think the main reason I like Clone Wars so much is a because it looks so good, which apparently is not a popular opinion. Um, it's a very unpopular. It I looks so bad. <laughs> I think that's so silly that it looks literally so amazing. Um, second of all, uh, um, Anakin is the best character in Star Wars. In that cool. show. He is literally so good. And James Arnold Taylor's Obi-Wan Kenobi could be oh, yeah. better than you would Iconic. So. Iconic. And I Ahsoka exists, which is awesome. So, yeah. It's just it's just freaking amazing. Okay, guys. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, <laughs> then, I, <laughs> then I put uh, okay, Tales guys. of the Jedi here under Vision. Okay. Um, I, didn't, I didn't get to watch. I mean, yes. I didn't watch. <laughs> yeah, you chose. I chose, I chose. I chose not, not to watch. watch. <laughs> um, I mostly liked it because Count Dooku is like probably my second favorite Star Wars character of all time, um, and yeah. Yeah. he gets a lot to do in this show. It's a quick little snippet of his time as a Jedi under Count Dooku, and then, I, I mean, Mace Windu, not Count Dooku. He is Count Dooku, um, as. Tyrannus. I don't know what his Jedi name is. Is it just Tyrannus? I have no idea. Darth Probably Tyrannus. not because I don't know. Obi Wan would have known who that was. Um, yeah. His name is Dooku, isn't it? <laughs> Dooku. <laughs> maybe that, probably. Maybe that's just his name. Um, <laughs> Padawan Dooku. It's not a great name, but it's all right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it shows him struggling with the Jedi code and how they are bound by it and how it prevents them from saving lives. Um, in certain cases, uh, when there's like a morally gray situation and they just have to white knight so hard that they literally mm-hmm. fail to do their job as peacekeepers. Um, yeah. and then it shows his actual fall to the dark, dark side, meeting Sidious, fighting and defeating Yaddle, a member of the council, uh, bleeding his lightsaber, like all of it. It's awesome. So. Um, that sick. alone is freaking so sick that it goes up the way, up here. Uh, hey, I don't. I didn't even know Yaddle was in there. Yeah, you'll yeah. have to watch it. It's I'll freaking sick, it. actually. So uh, they have a they have a lightsaber fight at the little tower building on Coruscant that they meet in in Episode Two. Mm. 
mm-hmm. um, which is pretty cool. So wow. that's something you should definitely watch. And it shows uh, Ahsoka getting taken from her village as a bebe. Right. Um, and Plo Koon and stuff. So if you care about that at all, that's an interesting little bit for you. Um, that that Plo part Koon. didn't care as much. I didn't care as much for, but whatever. Yeah. Uh, continue. Where are you at? Where are you feeling? Um, <clears throat> Andor, I'm at. Hey, actually, I'm looking at this for the first time. I'm moving Acolyte up to number two because oh. that was uh, that was ridiculous of me to say to put Mando above it for one season out of three. Uh, which like it's just not anyway. So Acolyte's number two, Congrats. but like it's like I don't like any of these that much. Okay, wow. it's fine. You like Andor, and that's it. <laughs> Except for Andor, I like Andor, and then everything else is like whatever. Except I really like the Acolyte. Yeah, I like it a lot. I love it even maybe. Whoa, uh, <laughs> it's like welling up inside you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm figuring out what Star I'm Wars. Doing. Uh, Andor, Acolyte, Mando, Visions, Clone Wars, and then I'm gonna. These three at the bottom, dude. Obi Wan, Ahsoka, and Boba Fett. I'm just like, I don't even know what order to put them in. I'm putting Obi Wan yeah. here. Wow. Because. Because there. I, I would have thought is, there's no way. Listen, there's Ewan McGregor. There's Hayden Christensen. There's some good Darth Vader stuff. And I like that. And that's that it. That final fight scene. So. I am what you made me, or whatever. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, I can I can get over the the visuals of it. Now that can, you now that you say that, I do is. remember uh, several months ago. Now you had briefly mentioned you were like, I saw some clips of Obi Wan Kenobi that made me like it yeah. a little bit more. I do recall. Yeah. That. And the I think <clears throat> the Reva plot line is like it's not it's not executed like to perfection by any means, but it mm-hmm. is an interesting idea. Right, um, and I think it's pretty cool. And it's dumb that people were like, "Ew, black women in Star Wars, gross!" Like, stop it, get out of here, you weirdos. Get the freak out um, of here. She's awesome, and that some of that was pretty cool. So, yeah. I'm into that. Yeah. I'm into it, and I like you and McGregor a lot. Um, I have, I have Ahsoka here above, t- or just below Tales of the Jedi. There, um, yeah. I have to. You know, obviously, uh, if you go back and find my review of Ahsoka on Letterboxd, uh, I was irate. I was yes. pissed. I watched yes. that at like seven in the morning or something after getting home from work <laughs> and uh, literally was so unsatisfied. But I have yeah. to remember everything that came before was really good and I can just forget the last episode and pretend it was good in my head. Because none of those yeah. characters are ever going to return, and none of it has any semblance on the Star Wars canon at all. Um, yeah. Because Thrawn dies in Empire. Or no, that was, or uh, I was going to say Rebels, but that's literally takes place before this show, and it's the reason for this show. Yeah. Uh, but he's defeated, right? I don't or no, know. he makes it out. I don't even remember. See, it sucks. No, they make it out. They get they Their Star Destroyer goes in the big right. hyperspace yeah, ring, yeah, 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 and then yeah, they yeah. shoot out. And all right. our main characters are on that other planet in the other galaxy. Mm-hmm. Uh, but whales and all that. Right. Space whales or something. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, I yeah. like the way the lightsabers looked. Um, There's some good sh- stuff with um, Shin Hati Balin and Balin and Shin are freaking Hati. sick. Yeah. Um, nobody had There's anything to say about there. them when they weren't Jedi or Sith and they had their own things yeah. about the Force, but... They care a lot when they're women and witches. Um, let's just say, yeah. Heyo, heyo, and their lightsabers are orange, also, which is awesome. Pretty sick. They're red, but they're yeah. orange, uh, and they're yeah. so cool. It's awesome. And Shin Hati's uh, spaceship was really cool. Her little starfighter <laughs> was awesome. Yeah, I yeah, want the Lego. That's true. Um, She's cool. Okay, continue. This is taking a long uh, time. Yeah, Ahsoka's there. <laughs> Second from the bottom for me. Um, I'll never rewatch it. Uh, all the stuff when they get to that planet with like the Night Sisters and like Thrawn is there and he's not doing anything interesting. And then Ezra is there and he's dressed like Jesus and I just am like, what is this? Ahsoka's not even Force like present up. for half of the show. She's just like, she's not even the main character. Um, uh, what's her? What's the girl's name? Sabine. 
She's wearing a terrible wig, and it's just unfortunate. And Mary Elizabeth Winstead as Mary gets nothing to do. It's unfortunate. But, you know, Zwing's womb, Zwing's as womb. I like to say. There is a bit of that. <laughs> and, and, there is uh, a bit of that. Hu Yang is there as a robot, which is cool. Yeah. I uh, Let me just go ahead and say, Boba Fett's at the bottom of the list. All right. Fair Absolute enough. trash show, not worth ever watching again. I don't know why they made it. It's garbage. Uh, there's I have, nothing redeeming about it. I have Boba Fett here. Uh, <laughs> you'll notice... Above uh, Mando, above I, You'll notice Man- that I oh, still have not said I mean, Mando. It's just it, it's coming up next, trust. Obi-Wan is at the bottom. Uh, Boba Fett, above all that stuff, is wild. Um, I like Tamora Morrison. I think... Sure. I When I think of Boba Fett, I do not think at all of Fennec Shand or Cad Bane or the the sheriff guy or uh, anything to do with the present day Boba Fett. I only remember the stuff when he was like living as a Tusken Raider uh-huh. and that stuff yeah. lights me up and I get excited about it and it's awesome and he builds his own stick and it's great. Uh, it's a it's a divulge into an interesting cryptic force uh, Star Wars culture and I love that stuff. It's world building, right? And that's yeah, all I care I about. guess. That's all I, I guess. care about. Okay. I like the Wookiee that's in it. There's a Wookiee. Whatever his it. name is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, yeah. I like when he rides the Rancor, everyone. It's cool. Okay. Yeah. He gets on a Rancor. Robots? Uh, oh, dude. There's an episode in the middle of Boba Fett that's literally just an episode of The Mandalorian. That episode is freaking <laughs> sick. I Great episode. love that episode. It's honestly amazing. And it's, the, uh, it's the insane is really that they heavy. put it, it in there. Awesome. Oh, my gosh. So good. Yeah. And then I have Maybe Mando. I should move it up. Um, yeah. Mando. Mando season one? Yeah. Could we disagree better. on that. Yeah. Better. Mando season two? We'd Whoa. Wait a minute. Kind of fire, yeah, actually. We, Lots of fun. Mando's like the one thing we hardcore disagree on about. And then, Wars, uh, like. and then season three, trash, garbage, garbage <laughs> fire. I can't believe. Like, what even happened in season three? Literally I don't even know. Nothing. Moff Gideon. Who even knows? Finally, like you remember, I was watching. Oh. I, w- I was watching uh, our Gosh. Ahsoka episode and our Mando episodes and our uh, Ahsoka episodes <laughs> and our uh, Andor episodes. Uh, just trying to remember what we said about stuff. And yeah. uh, in the finale oh of Ahsoka, or sorry, I'm getting it all mixed Mando up. Season Mando season three. three. Yeah. Um, the entire show has built up to this moment where Moff Gideon <laughs> has cloned himself a bunch of times to have force sensitive Moff Gideon clones. Is that okay? real? That's that real. Happen? That's real. It happened. No way. Um, <laughs> and. What? Mando I don't and remember that at Mando all. and Grogu are on th- uh, Mandalore, right? Grogu, and they have the secret stupid ass name Grogu. <laughs> <laughs> they so have uh, Moff Gideon is watching them. He's tracking them through the fortress yes. on his little maze, yes. and he sees them get to the secret room <laughs> with all of the clones, and he watches them destroy them all, and then continues to watch them walk all the way to him and then when they finally meet him he's like you destroyed everything i ever worked for how could you (laughs) you ruined my life yeah so if you recall the uh most terrible idiot (sighs) bad guy ever after being so awesome and intimidating when he flew down and his tie wing folded do you remember that yeah that was sick in season one he's awesome yeah he pulls out the black saber the dark (sighs) saber It's awesome. We watched that episode together at Grandma and Papa's house. Whoa. In their office. Is that true? With Jaden. Jaden was Jaden was also present. Wow. We watched the finale together, yeah. That's awesome. We should do that again. We should. Like hang out and stuff. Yeah. Um and then I put I put Obi Wan here at the bottom of my <laughs> the bottom of Jordan's list. Um, yeah. it's bad, it's trash. I agree. My opinion on it has completely it changed uh since I if you recall when I we originally reviewed it, I was much more positive yeah. about the show. Are, yeah. uh, sort of how I am with Boba Fett, where I focus on the good. With Obi Wan, I focus on the bad. Um, yeah. <clears throat> and Once I start I, thinking yeah, about all the stuff with Leia, I'm just like, yeah. why do you do that? What have it's we terrible. done? Kumail Nanjiani's in it for yeah. no reason. 
Uh, and then yeah, what I are put, we doing? Uh, I have Rebels, Bad Batch, and Tales of the Empire. Tales of the Empire, I haven't f- watched it all. Bad Batch, I didn't watch season two, and Rebels, I haven't seen season three or four. So they're just there's there also the season bottom. three of the Bad Batch that you haven't seen. There's a whole other season. <laughs> Good lord. Okay. Three, three, third season just finished, dude. We're behind. I haven't watched wow. any of it. We hate and Star I Wars, you guys. Um, I love Star Wars, but yeah, I can't so watch it all. You can't have it all. It's tough. It's tough. You can't watch it all, and you can't watch some of it more than once ever. Um, so you may have heard, and you will have definitely heard, throughout our podcast's entirety, mind you, um, our basically when you watch a Disney Plus show, the most, yeah, the yeah, two yeah. most important things are how many episodes it is, and how long is the last episode. These yeah. are the great. Uh, the great, what would you call it? The the bar. It is the balancing yeah. beam of the show. When you, yeah. if you watch us, if you watch a Disney Plus show and it's six episodes, skip it. It's trash. Um, Don't even start it. If it's eight episodes, it's okay, but it's it's probably not that great. Yeah. If look it's at 10, those time codes. If it goes, if the episode lengths go gradually down with the last episode being the shortest, mm-hmm. skip it. Terrible trash episode. <laughs> terrible season. Yeah. Uh, if it's ten episodes, it's Mandalorian. So that's up to you. Uh, some people yeah. like it. Some people don't. If it's twelve episodes, you're in for a treat. That's the best. Because one. there's only one of those, yep. and it's Andor. And that's if it's great. eighteen episodes or whatever, then it hasn't come out <laughs> yet, and I haven't even heard news about it in a long time. Uh, I th- the last thing I, I think I filled you in on. Um, Daredevil a while ago. Oh, they, they <coughs> said they were restarting. They're not doing 18 episodes anymore. They're restarting and just doing Daredevil season four with everybody back. Okay. They were like, that was that was when they decided that they needed to make, they needed to like hire a showrunner and hire like writers mm-hmm. and uh, people that know what they're doing. Right. Um, instead of just throwing money at like freaking Joe Russo and being like, "Hey man, just like just do just it. make it, just make a show, I, I, just make it." I don't care. Those Star Wars shields will love anything you put in front of them. <laughs> yeah, I think, and also like if the cr- if the main creative driving force is Dave Filoni, um, that's becoming a bit of a red flag. Um, as he's taken more control, you see a great decrease in quality. In it's my a real opinion. Shame. Um, the best show on here, he's not even like, I think he might be titled as like executive producer. Um, which, what do they even really but do? Like, I, uh, nothing. So I wish I was an executive producer, but we, um, do oh, you want to talk about last episodes here? Uh, real briefly, I suppose. And then we can get yeah. back to Acolyte in earnest. Um, so we've w- talked th- about, sorry, go ahead. As a common theme with, uh, Disney Plus shows, as we've stated, is the episode Please. count and the final episode. What we want to key in here on the final episode is something that Jordan picked up on around Moon Knight, maybe even sooner, mm. at the very beginning yeah. of this podcast, April 1st, 2022. Wow. 2022, baby. <laughs> um, back in the, the, the <clears throat> days. Okay. We've been doing this for two years. Heck yeah, man. <laughs> You'd think we would have hit a hundred episodes by now, but uh, not yeah, quite. We lost a bit of steam. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. But the the locomotive yeah. still rolls. Okay, we're going downhill, yeah. so it doesn't stop. Um, and so yes, so Jordan noticed. I picked up on it at, at Moon Knight. Uh, yeah. uh, he noticed a theme that the last yes. episode of every Marvel show, and seemingly uh, around this time also. Uh, probably soon after, I think right after Moon Knight was Obi-Wan, right? It was right yes. around that time. Um, yes. I think. And somewhere around I'm that picturing time. Picturing the thumbnails. Right. I'm trying to. <laughs> <laughs> um, we, we both started to really understand that the last episode was the only episode of, a, of the show that mattered. Because if it was good, right. then the show was good. If it was bad, then the show was bad. And yeah. so we want to quickly go back through all of our final, all of the final episodes of Star Wars. And if you care about any yeah, specific yeah, yeah. ones for Marvel, we can bring them up briefly. Um, yeah, I think uh, just Marvel briefly, like 
it started with WandaVision, and that's a great example of like you you don't like WandaVision as a whole, but um, I think that's that's still your opinion, right? You don't really like WandaVision that much. I, mm. uh, I like the like, first two or three episodes <clears throat> when it's literally just yeah. a sitcom and nothing interesting yes. is happening. Like, yeah, it's a great up example of this concept because like the show as a whole um was it started out really interesting it was compelling it was new it was fresh and it built and built and built this gimmick that they were doing with going from the 50s 60s 70s 80s 90s sitcom era you know Mm -hmm. they're doing this and all of a sudden the last episode airs and it's just like the mcu and visions flying around and they're throwing glowy beams at each other and it ends with no real consequences for Wanda or anyone really, um, and so it just made it just made the show as a whole feel like what was the point of any of this? Right. Um, and I remember like Falcon and Winter Soldier. I feel the same way, even though I really like that show. Moon Knight. I definitely feel the same. Moon way. Knight might be one of the worst examples. <laughs> it's one of the worst. Um, Alligator because, destroys the pyramid of Giza. <laughs> yeah. And then they reveal the third personality right at the end. And that's like, uh, when are we getting another season of this? Maybe never. So um, Loki was the only example of like, Loki season one was like, we we really liked that season finale because Mm -hmm. it was like the show built. And then the last episode was like, slow down. And we're going to reveal this thing to you. And we're going to talk about it. And we're just going to sit in the office and the tension builds while Jonathan Majors, um, rest in peace. His Rest career. He's Jonathan Majors. Um, he delivers an amazing monologue, uh, though. Uh, a guy yes, knows how to act uh, in more Dang ways it. than one. Uh, <laughs> or I guess he doesn't know he how does to act. He doesn't know how to in act. Some <laughs> in a specific way. Uh, yeah, I love that episode. <laughs> and I really like the finale of Loki Season 2 as well, where he becomes God of Time. Yeah. Uh, or whatever. Uh, is there anything else? Uh, oh, Miss Marvel. Uh, I don't remember. Great ending. Love that show, though. Big <laughs> action scenes. Big lots of yeah. fun. Family safety. Uh, time jumping into the past to save her own grandma. Grandfather paradox. Whole thing. It's awesome. Whoa. It's super cool. I don't remember any of that. Yeah. The show's but really that's good. That's great. It's, I think it's <clears> actually... It's, it's, it is. It's the only Marvel show that I've rewatched. Yeah. And, and so, that's awesome, you know. Because yeah. I watched it with my. Parentals. Are we forgetting? Are we forgetting any of them? Uh, what like ifs? <laughs> mm, what if? Yeah, yeah. That doesn't really count. Oh, <laughs> Secret Invasion. Oh yeah, what a show! Uh, just the thought of Secret Invasion makes me so. You remember this? Happy. You remember this? The fist, Amelia Clark's yeah. green fist. It's just what were they thinking? That's the worst one. That show is absolutely just misguided from start to finish. AI intro, uh, yeah. all of that. The season finale, Amelia Clark becomes a god, essentially. <laughs> all the superpowers just, of every hero ever. It's so bad. It's awesome. Um, but yeah, take us through the uh, the Star Wars ones here. You have written Okay. Out. Mando season one, Battle for Navarro. All right, so we have the Bounty Hunters Guild people, uh, as well as the Empire themselves, kind of aligned here uh, in their attempts to get Grogu for... uh, Get the baby! Yeah, for Uh, nefarious purposes. For that guy, so he can clone him. Do we even know why they were trying to get Grogu? Even To get his Medichlorians to make Force clones of Moff Gideon. Why did you need midichlorians for that? You remember? <laughs> it, I w- I remember watching this because you you brought it up too, uh, in the uh, the previous acolyte episode. Um, the term M count is used in season yeah. two of Mandalorian as well. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, so they are there's a they they get into the the Empire's base, and they find a recording or something of Palpatine or some other dude, and he's like. Yeah. We need to get the baby for the Medichlorians. Or the M count rar. And it's like, oh. M count rar. Yeah. So the whole purpose is to clone, 
to use the DNA of this baby to integrate it into Moff Gideon clones to have Force-sensitive soldiers for Thrawn. Oh, oh I see. Right. I'm, I'm realizing that now for the first time. <laughs> there you go. Uh, so that's what's going down. They, everybody wants the okay. baby. We have uh, the scout yeah. troopers punch Grogu while he's in a sack. Um, uh, yeah. If you recall that. <laughs> You don't remember um, watching that with me? Come on, I remember that. That was funny, and also awful. we were having a great time. Yeah, um, and then we have season two of The Mandalorian. Uh, yes. Luke Skywalker shows yeah. up, and Star Wars the most... cried like a little baby girl. Oh. Um, Probably the most well-known season oh yeah, finale. For sure, the most it made the most uh, impact. He fights a bunch of Death Troopers, and then shows up with his CGI face. That's not Sebastian yeah. Stan. And it doesn't um, look good at all. It doesn't really look good. Uh, <laughs> it, it looked so a lot better. Retrospect. It looked better in Ahsoka, but still, it did. It's still they made um, progress. Yeah, it's still. Uh, what do you call that? Uncanny yeah. Valley. When you see all these guys, like the guy who plays the the face capture for Luke Skywalker, the guy who plays the face capture for Tarkin in Rogue mm-hmm. One, the girl who has the face capture for Leia in Rogue One. They all just look exactly like the right. actors they, that they they're casted, portraying. They casted people that looked like them. <laughs> Perfectly. Perfect casting. And then they put this rubber face on top of them. Yeah. It's, it's so sad. It's so funny. Um, and then but season yeah. three of Mando, the great finale. one. Um, they reignite the been... forge. Um, they fight the new Beskar death troopers. Uh, they destroy the dark saber. Um Nothing happens with the mythosaur. We just see it once in the water, and nothing happens, yeah. which is super lame. Uh, Moff Gideon dies. Grogu is officially adopted by Mando. Uh, yeah. And then they leave uh, Mandalore and go back to Navarro to have a house with... Um, what's that guy's name? Carl oh, Weathers. Oh, goodness. Carl Weathers, rest in peace. Yes. A great guy, a great actor, a great man. Wow. For real, that th- that one wasn't a bit. He is actually dead. No, yeah. He was actually a great man. Yes, 100%. <laughs> Unlike Jonathan Majors, who's yes. not dead and isn't a great guy. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Only the good day. Yeah, yeah. unfortunate. Yeah. Uh, then we have Not Ahsoka. a good episode. Not a good episode. The final season of Ahsoka, which was eight episodes as well. <sighs> Correct yeah, me if I'm wrong. Was. Um, I think it was, yeah. Defeating Thrawn, except they didn't. Uh, force jumping. Uh, Sabine uses the force. S- Stormtrooper um, zombies. Z- Stormtrooper zombies. Morgan Elsbeth. Uh, yeah. Finally realizing her potential and becoming an interesting character and then immediately dying. <laughs> um Balin ba- and ba- Shin leaving the show. <laughs> just walking out. <laughs> Uh, the show and entirely. then showing up, br- well, Balin shows up briefly to be like he sees Mortis or something. Yeah, uh, he's, he's standing on the statue of uh, the father or whatever. Right, which doesn't make any sense because it's a physical place instead of a ghost force place. And then Shin, like, she just goes back to this band of mercenary dudes and was like, "I'm gonna be your leader," What's or something. Gross? This is yeah. my great position I found myself in. Uh, terrible, terrible, literal, th- literally the worst episode of Star Wars I've ever seen. Um, <laughs> I hate it so much. It destroyed this show. Then we have Andor season finale, including uh, almost yes. the F word, uh, which was apparently what she actually said and what mm, they showed yeah. in the screen. But she said, fight the Empire. If you catch my drift... I catch um, your drift. And that was freaking amazing. Uh, yeah, The whole show lit really up to good. that moment, and it was fulfilling. It was good. Um, you have thoughts? Tell me Tell me anything you care about. Um, yeah, I haven't, I haven't gotten to the finale yet in my rewatch, but um, this is actually my third rewatch, guys. Mm-hmm. I've watched it uh, twice already, but um, yeah, Cyril Caught. Ca- Cyril, I have a hard time saying his name. Cyril Karn um, shows up on what is it, Ferrix mm-hmm. during the uh, the insurrection. No, um, whoa. There, so yeah. What's his mom's name again? Mom. Mom has died, and they're doing a funeral parade, and then they go 
fight the empire. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so a riot's happening, and Cyril is there with Dedra, and they have Dedra. a little moment setting up the uh, the their relationship even mm-hmm. more. Um, and that episode ends with. Yeah, everybody converges there. Um, 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 Stellan Skarsgård is there. He's looking for Andor because he wants to kill Andor because he kn- he's seen his face and he knows what he's been up to. Right. Um, but the show ends with um, he's pointing a gun at Andor and he's like, eh, you want to go to the second season? <laughs> we want to join my team, basically. Um, I'm putting together a team. I'm putting together a team, yeah. And uh, there's all this stuff going on with... Um, I was gonna say Moff Gideon, but I mean Mon Mothma. Yes. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Um, she's doing all of her shady politic stuff, mm-hmm. um, and all of that is really using good as her well. father's alcoholics and uh, yeah. gambling as a cover up for laundering money to the rebellion. <clears throat> yes. Um, it's great. I can't wait for season two. It's gonna. Be, it's real and it is happening, which is exciting. I cry uh, every night knowing in my mind that um, they had planned for five seasons uh, and are only doing two. Uh, Whoa, dude! That is a sad what did you and even sobering just say fact. To me right now, I did not know they that. They had planned. And I'm gonna go cry yeah. right now as soon as this they planned five. Is over. Yeah. So. Wow. We'll see what happens in the second season. There's talk of um, Ben Mendelsohn coming back for Orson Krennic. Oh, please, which I would like to see. Please do that. Ben Mendelsohn because is freaking dope. He's awesome in Rogue One, but he doesn't really have, to have as much somewhere. screen time as I. Yeah, he's awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I want to see more of him. Probably wow. some K two S O stuff. Maybe even some Jin Urso stuff. Oh, um, who Maybe. knows? Maybe. We don't know what's happening. Bix was tortured, and she has um, short-term memory loss now. So, Oh, no. And that's Andor's fault, because he left her there. So yeah. They're going to have to deal with that somehow. Obi-Wan. It's great. <clears throat> Obi-Wan. Obi-Wan fights Darth Vader. Yeah, he and does. he cuts his face He throws off some throws rocks, rocks at him. And that meme was formed um, where he stands there with his lightsaber, and Darth Vader stands yeah. over there with his lightsaber. Um, uh, what's her name? The girl, Reva, evil Force girl, Reva. I was gonna call her Vera, but that's like almost a normal name. Reva goes to Tatooine to kill Luke Skywalker. Um, so and uh, Uncle Owen is there, or as, as a, a young kid, or as a child, a seven-year-old. Um. She has a, a moment of clarity mm. where she decides to be good, I think, if I'm remembering that correctly. Pretty okay. I feel I feel like the fight between Obi-Wan and Darth Vader, especially the dialogue that they have, is pretty awesome. And the theme of, like, Obi-Wan is, like, dealing with his grief and guilt for doing this thing to Anakin when, like, it's not really his fault, um, and he's able to kind of let go of that. Um, I don't think it was a good idea to put Obi-Wan in a position where he could have killed Darth Vader and stopped millions of people from being destroyed and murdered right. by him. Mm-hmm. I don't think that was a great idea to just have Obi-Wan let him go um, and kind of be responsible for that. Again. Um, again, for the second time. Mm-hmm. But, you know, what are you going to do? Job, bro. Yeah. Just take him out. Just take him out. Or that's arrest not, him. Like, that's not Anakin. You could just do that. Um, yeah, he, said, he even says Anakin is dead. <laughs> What yeah. happened to Boba Fett? I don't even uh, so know. So, oh. there is a fight <laughs> in a town. Boba Fett and his speeder bike kids, Mandalorian and Fennec Shang, played by Migna na Wen, um, all fight Cad Bane and some big robots. Yep. Rancor is there yep. also. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then Bad. Acolyte. Let's talk about the last episode of Acolyte, and then we can... Okay, the last uh, episode of Acolyte. Yeah. Then we can finish off with a nice full review of the show f- for another hour of this yeah. episode. So we had just watched the uh, second flashback ultra super <laughs> redux <laughs> review Opal, version. Uh, ultra super flashback. Uh, where we got the director's cut of what happened on Brendock. Yes. Uh, also, we were wrong about we were wrong about this. Brendock is um, the planet that May is from. No, wait. 
We were talking, yeah, you're talking about the right thing. When we talked about the planet that Kelnaka was on, we kept calling it Brandok, but that was wrong. Yeah. I don't know what that planet um, is called. I don't know either. Go ahead. Sorry Bore. to interrupt. Yeah, no, but you're That's right. My bad. Uh, that we were wrong, but then we were also right. We use the name Brendok for multiple planets. <laughs> Every planet is called Brendok in the accolades. <laughs> yes. It's just sort of a thing. Uh, but no, we everybody comes back to Brendok. Uh, yes. May and Sol go back to Brendok separately, um, but in the same ship, technically. Whoa. Um, then Osha is there with Chimere because they go there because they know that that is where May will be because they want to meet up with her. And then the Republic is also, or the Jedi are, are on their way there as well because they want to capture everybody because everybody is right. evil at this point except for the Jedi as it is. And so everybody's converging at the cultist witch's temple uh, building, commune, fortress. And we sort of, we get, everybody starts to learn the truth that everybody's hiding from everybody else. Right? There's a lot of, there's a lot of lies, there's a lot of truths, and it's, there's a lot of reveals. Um, right. Soul killed May and Osha's mom in cold blood. Um, Osha and May are not twins. They are one person. Two what? Divided. Uh, Chimere is Ven Vernestra's Padawan. Plagueis yep. is cowering behind a rock, like a freaking yes. Dementor fingers on the door Yes, in the trolley. Dementus. Dementus. <laughs> That's uh, Mad Max f colon Fury Road. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that's nope. Chris Hemsworth. Nope, that was uh, Mad Max. Furiosa. Col colon nope, Furiosa. Mad Max saga. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, everybody. I have seen those movies. Um, I've seen both. They're not as good as you think, <laughs> <laughs> but they're fun. Everybody likes them so much. I'm like, what? They're the okay. best action movies of the 21st century of all time. Yep. Um, I don't get it. Sue me. Okay. Um, I I'll prefer John Wick. <laughs> Whoa, guys. Relax. <laughs> relax, dude. Extinction or extraction is better. <laughs> extraction, more like extinction. Am I right, guys? Dude. <laughs> Dang it. He writes ah. the joke himself. Gotcha. Uh, Dune is better. Dune? That's a better is action better. movie. 100%. By like a million, million miles. Wow. Continue. <laughs> uh, right. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Star Wars. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. So everybody comes together on Brendok. Uh, they want to find the Virgins. They want to save May. They want to save Osha. They want to kill Chimere. They want to capture everybody and bring them back so that the Jedi aren't at fault for anything. Uh, they all have yeah. their different motives that all lead them to the same planet. And so Osha learns from Soul that he killed his mom and yep. he didn't save oh. may specifically so that he could only save osha <clears throat> instead of force grabbing right. them he was holding up entire bridge should have just plucked them out of the sky and grabbed them both say la vie it's star wars narrative things have to happen you know yeah we can't we can't you know logic doesn't always win he's in a high stress moment he's not really thinking it's fine He's not perfect. Yeah. And he is literally, like, at fault and a bad guy by the end of the show. A, a fact that a lot of people don't like. A lot of people thought yeah. he was, like, really good and justified in all of his actions. Um, right. Those people are part of the problem. Anyway. Um, yeah. Osha is pissed. She's holding a half-destroyed lightsaber. Soul's lightsaber. Um... And as she's holding it and she learns this truth and she descends uh, to the dark side of the force, um, yeah. her hand kind of has this weird little vein thing going on in between her thumb and her pointer finger. And the blue kyber crystal seeps red. It bleeds red and turns yeah. into a red kyber crystal. And then Whoa. she ignites it, and it's like red and blue at the same time. What? It's like a freaking strawberry 
cherry blue raspberry slushy um, bomb pop yeah it's yes. a, it's a bomb <laughs> pop and then uh it turns fully red uh which is awesome yeah. and it like kind of steams sick. off the tip um yeah the last little bit of blue just kind of goes off the edge it's awesome so cool so um cool. and then she kills soul via Should've force choke and yep. he's like dang it I was wrong the whole time. I was a terrible yeah. person. I've come to my own conclusions. And he cries, and he says, it's okay, you can kill me, which is super Jedi and awesome. And uh, yeah. he accepts his fate and his wrongdoing and perishes. And yeah. it's it's narratively fulfilling for me. Um, yep. Then Osha and Chimere uh, run away, I yeah. guess. They just run. And because uh, the the Jedi from Coruscant have showed right. up, this is when they finally get there. Yes. Um, so Osha and May and Chimera all run away. They leave. Um, well, actually, Osha and May run away alone yes. through the little uh, Bespin air duct. Um, yep. And they make it back to the Godswood um, with the yellow tree. Game of Thrones reference. Um, okay. <laughs> I and uh, they find the weirwood tree, and sure, same got uh, same Game of Thrones reference. Um, <laughs> and uh, Chimere's just there, and he's like, "If I find you, the Empire can find you, or the Republic can find you." And uh, so they decide ultimately, as their final decoy, to run away and to both be happy somehow. Uh, Osha says, "Let's wipe May's memory." Um, yeah, and so Chimere just wipes her memory like a freaking robot. He and does the Harry Potter spell. Yeah, obliviate. Obliviate. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Harry Potter reference. Um, I've seen Harry Potter. Yeah, nice one. And so May is like, "Who am I? I have a sister." Um, yeah, but oh, she also remembers a lot. <laughs> yeah, she knows how to fully speak. And yeah. she has, like, full memories, but she doesn't remember. And so she is, like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. because she's now a different person with no memories, she is also not convicted of any crimes she does, which literally includes the murder of two Jedi. Um, yeah. And any number of other people. Um, yep. And so uh, they run away. Osha and Chimere run back to Baldemnik which is the planet that they're hiding on with the... Sure. Uh, they're hiding on with the... Um, Cortosis. Oh, yes. Cortosis they, mine. The Cortosis mine. Um, they hold hands. They hold hands over a lightsaber and look at the sunset, and they're like, yep. season two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then we also see Venestra talks to Yoda briefly yes which is a funny little thing because people were so up in arms earlier in the season if you recall that Kiati right. mundi right, right, right. featured in an earlier episode way before his birthday uh which you know people can forgive the birthday thing it was from yeah. the dvd rom bonus features of phantom menace okay yep that's where that came from and it was later uh, redacted. A lot of that stuff is not canon, including uh, Kiari Mundi having a purple lightsaber and then a green lightsaber and then a blue lightsaber. Uh, Mace Windu having a blue lightsaber. There's a whole bunch of other random garbage in there that's not true right. at all uh, <clears throat> that is changed. Also including Kiari Mundi being a Jedi Knight in Episode 1, despite sitting in the uh, mm. Grand High Council meetings. Um what about the droid attack on the Wookiees? You know? Yes. <laughs> His most famous <laughs> line. Very um, good. And so people were, were okay with whatever. They, you know, the age thing, it gets retconned, it's fine. The thing that yep. they were really mad about was that yes, the, the Sith have been extinct for a millennia. And right. so <clears throat> here's this whole thing, right? Is that Kiati Mundi was there in the control room, <laughs> right? And he... <laughs> he doesn't know anything about this Sith Lord and he doesn't bring it up at all in the Phantom Menace and he doesn't nope. say anything at all about May and Osha being too old to train 
uh, as Jedi yep. when uh, Anakin is there, also 10 years old or whatever, right? Yep. Also, Luke started his training at like 23. I don't really know yeah. what we're doing. It's fine. Every um, Jedi we've ever seen be trained has been older than they want them to be. So. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah. It, it's Except for Ahsoka, impressive. like you said last time. Except for Ahsoka, yes, of course. Um, so, the then comes, uh, well, first and foremost, <laughs> let me let me yeah, backtrack yeah, yeah. before I finish the Kiati Mundi point here. <laughs> right. Um, so <clears throat> he learns that a a couple Jedi have been killed. Right. Then he learns that it was Rogue Jedi Soul. That is it. There's no mention yes. of Sith Lord to him. He's not part of anything yeah, else. Yeah, yeah. And the official, uh, the official position of the Jedi Order and the Republic, at the end of the season, is Jedi Master Soul went rogue, right. killed some people, and then this died. is what um, this is what Vernestra. This is the narrative that she's constructed. Yes. Um, because she was on Rendok. She, okay, so, because this is important for season two. Well, okay, so back to the Kiati Mundi thing. Yeah. Like, this is why, and like, I, I checked myself after this happened because I was like, okay, this is why you wait until the show is over mm -hmm. <laughs> before you start saying ridiculous things. <laughs> Because they're like, what? Kiati Mundi, he knows about the Sith. Uh, what? The only like, the only way it would make sense for um, all of these Jedi to witness the Sith in action and for the Lord to be intact, the only way that could be possible if all of them die. And right. then you, and then it's like you go to the end of the show. It's like all of them died. <laughs> yeah. Every single one of them is dead. So like, what you <laughs> were talking about came to pass at the end of the show. Uh, if you would have just watched it, you wouldn't have had an issue with it. Because then, Frenestra and, like, 25 Jedi are all on Brendok. Um, they walk into this 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 courtyard where Sol has already been killed. Um, she, at that point, she sends everybody out. She's like, you two go that way, look for them. You three go that way. Set up a like perimeter. Everybody spread out. Set up a perimeter. And she has a little moment with um, Dead Master Sol. And she senses a presence where she clearly knows she says uh you yeah. you're alive i think is what she says yeah 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 um and which like was pretty telegraphed and that was one of the theories we had last week was that mm -hmm. we thought it was it made sense that vernestra was chimer's master at one point Absolutely. before he left the jedi order which is now confirmed well not i guess it's not technically confirmed but that's but, the yeah. implication right um, and Keimer seems to be pretty like afraid of this person because oh, he, yeah. he put puts his, his mask on, on immediately, his Magneto helmet on, and he runs away <clears throat> as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. He's afraid. So, of So, Vernestra now seeing May, uh, I mean May has killed Soul, and knowing that this guy Keimer, her old Padawan, has been involved, she takes everybody back um, with May being memoryless mm -hmm. and she creates this fictional story that soul has gone rogue and done all of these terrible things because she's covering up the cover-up because she doesn't really care about the first cover-up she cares about probably the implication is she doesn't want people knowing that her little padawan is out there running around as a sith killing people um, yeah <clears throat> killing people so she's and made she up also this thing about she's also dealing with a senator who wants to conduct a yeah. external review of the jedi order and all of their yes. secret deeds secret deeds yeah. and i okay the, the the one thing i really didn't like about the last episode was when that character the senator goes he basically like looks into the camera and says audience here's what the show is about the Jedi are bad. They're terrible people, a religious cult that think they have all power in the universe and can do whatever they want. And I'm here to make sure they can't do that. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> it was a, it was a little bit uh, it was a little bit a little on the nose, a little extra. Um, you got to do it. That for is the young true. Kids. That is the theme of the show. And also it's been the deal from day 1. Mm -hmm. People have this idea that the Jedi are supposed to be 
the best. But it's also like maybe you, have you even seen Star Wars? Because that's yeah. kind of the point of the legacy uh, of the most Jedi of is Star failure. Wars. <laughs> uh, because especially the prequels, George Lucas was always very clear that these people have no idea what they're doing and yep. they're bad at their jobs and they I think b- it's they time enslave. we told the Senate that our ability to use the force <laughs> is diminished. It's diminished. They they don't I don't I was about to say they enslave children. They don't really enslave children, but they do uh, steal them from their homes and yeah. make them work for them. <laughs> so um, yeah, it's not good. But it's and not and that's the point. Yeah. Yeah. And there are these little examples of people like doing doing the right thing like you got luke skywalker and all that but that's Mm -hmm. a story for another time um oh no are we back uh your video is up a little bit wait there you are wait you're a little pixelated but you're moving (coughs) and you're back okay continue okay and we're back um that hasn't happened for like two years finale yeah okay my favorite thing about the finale, guys. Tell me. There were so many moments in the finale, and actually in the show in general, where I was watching and I go, okay, this thing is about to happen, right? Uh, it looks like, okay, like, in this scenario, this Sith should probably just kill all of these Jedi because he's obviously more powerful than all of them. Right. But they're not going to do that because, like, they're the main characters and he's not going to kill them or whatever. And then uh, Daphne Keene, dead. Uh, yep. You're dead. I was like, oh, okay. All the red shirts not dead. All the red shirts were dead, and I was like, okay. I talked about this last time. All the red shirts died, and I was like, okay, that's it. The rest are going to be good. Nope. I was wrong about that. Um, yep. This last episode, um, it was built... Uh, the tension was built around Osha wearing Kymir's mask, and it was like, oh, is she going to turn to the dark side? And it's like, mm-hmm. oh, of course not, because she's the main character of the show. They would never do that. Right. Uh, they did that. Uh, she straight up turns to the dark side and turns and bleeds a Kyber crystal. I mean, and then th- she's there's literally no more dead on uh, imagery that you could have for one's character yes. turning from the light side to the dark side. Right. Uh, and then she's force choking Master Soul in the moment that he goes, he he goes, uh, it's okay. Like in every other media ever, that would have been the moment where Osha lets him go. Right. right. That's the that's the like, the uh, the formula for this type of altercation. Yeah. Um, because you can't have your main character kill somebody in cold blood. Like every time. Like, if if the villain goes, it's okay like I deserve this then the person who's holding them is like like no I'm going to make you live with the choices that you've made right. uh, I'm the better you man. know that's or what you, that's they what like always the earth would crumbles below them and they fall to their yes, death they fall so that they can into save a, their their white knighthood or whatever yes you know? their goodness but their no she's she's straight up choking master soul he goes it's okay and she's <laughs> she like she goes <laughs> <laughs> she literally it. closes it I harder. I did not think they were going to do that at all. Um, pretty pretty crazy stuff. Um, I'm not even saying it's particularly consistent with her character or makes sense with her character or that it was built up to well enough to be satisfying, but like they still did it, and I'm like, okay. I admire the commitment <laughs> that mm-hmm. you did that. Mm-hmm. Um, it does feel like it comes out of fairly comes out of nowhere <clears throat> but i think it makes sense like you don't really know this person like she both of these twins or i guess not twins may and osha like they're pretty like we don't really know them that much we see them as kids and they're pretty mysterious yeah um and we don't know like until the last episode we don't really know anything about osha what happened in between her leaving brendock <clears throat> and becoming a Padawan and all of that. Right. Um, maybe she was, like, always pretty... Um, I mean, that, that was the implication, that she has always been pretty angry. Um, that's why she left the Jedi Order, was she couldn't figure out how to handle her emotions right. um, and all that. So I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, and, I, yeah, it like, everything makes sense with all the Jedi being, like, killed and everybody who witnessed the Sith are gone except for Vernestra. Um, pretty yeah 
pretty solid. I hope they get a season two. Who knows? Yeah, man. Who knows? It's awesome. But <clears throat> pretty, I think, yeah, pretty satisfying show. I'll rewatch it sometime, I think. Probably. Who knows? Probably. Uh, I have my issues with it, but. Yeah. You know, and, and nothing's perfect, right? You can't make a yeah. perfect show. But uh, it's Star Wars. I guess. And we had some Zwings Wombs. I think, and I, maybe this is a hot take, I think the lightsabers in this show look better than lightsabers have ever looked. And really? This is my opinion. I think, I will say, let me, let me, let me retract that <coughs> statement immediately. Um, <laughs> let me just make sure I actually hear immediately. Force Awakens, the fight on Star Killer Base between yeah. Rey and Kylo Ren, that probably it's looks incredible. better. Uh, the the light so, reflecting yeah. in their eyes, the blue, the red, the snow, insanely yeah. beautiful. Um, maybe the little fight on the broken Death Star bridge thing uh, with the with the force pushing the light, and it's like, blah, blah, blah. that kind of looked yeah. pretty sick. But in terms of like... Well, actually, I will say some of the star the lightsabers in Rebels looked pretty cool. How they're all pencil thin and like yeah curvy when they move. Um, I yeah, like I don't that. I don't mind that. I think the the Last Jedi. I really liked the fight in the Last Jedi in Snoke's throne room, but mm, like mm, mm. <clears throat> the lightsabers don't like pop out that much. I don't feel yeah. like in that sequence as much as the choreography. Which people pick apart the choreography in that scene for some reason. They're like. They hate that scene because they look at the people in the background and are like, why is this guy winding up for so long? I'm like, guys, it's a movie, okay? Yeah. Can we just calm down <laughs> a bit? Uh, it's not real, and it's cool, so right. shut up. Jenny. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, you could probably do the same thing yeah. with even John Wick, the most heavily choreographed fight yeah. scenes of all time. Right. There's a bunch of stuff or that just doesn't look, make sense. Look at, like, look at uh, the Dark Knight trilogy. These guys probably love those movies. Oh, yeah. And yeah, they do. some of the things in those fights are hilariously bad. Most of the things in those fights. Yeah. It's not great. Um, do I have any other thoughts? Do I, do I, do I? I wish there were more episodes. I feel like they could have yeah. spent more time like with more characters. But here, Here's yeah. my thought. Would you be happy if an episode came out today? Yesterday? Yeah. And there you go. And that's it, folks. The I want to see more. Good. He wants yeah. to see more. Season two should come out. Um, I was, I was, as I was looking back at some of those older Star Wars episodes that we talked about, the TV shows, yeah. I remember on multiple occasions talking about uh, a Star Wars Disney Plus show that I really wanted called The Song of Bo-Katan, as I had dubbed it. Uh, it's not real. Okay. Uh, it won't happen. Um, but it was something that I mentioned multiple times during our season three uh, of Mandalorian that I wanted a third season. Katie Sackhoff uh, comes in. Kate Blanchett is uh, Duchess Satine, apparently. What? In my mind. <laughs> and uh, Ewan McGregor reprises his role as Obi Wan again. Oh, sure. Uh, to yeah. come in and do some flashback stuff, some Clone yeah. Wars era stuff in <clears throat> live action. Um, yeah. Just like some epic tales of Bo Katan, uh, because I think her character finally sure. was actually a bright spot in season three for me. Um, and she deserves yeah. to be the, you know, the queen of Mandalore and all that sort of stuff. And plus, everything with the Mandalorian and like his little culvert stuff, like yeah. the whole, his whole Mandalorian religion is not the Mandalorian stuff that I like. I sure. prefer the. Mandalore, the kings, the queens, the warriors, the dark saber lineage, that Death stuff. Death Watch. Yeah. And all that. So, I think if we took the Mandalorian mantle and kind of gave it to her, maybe, you know, yeah. you could even call it season 4 of the Mandalorian and it's her. Right? Yeah. Maybe. I'd be okay Cause, with that. Yeah. Cuz Grogu and 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 Din Djarin are Din chilling Djarin. in their little farm, you know, living yeah. life. Yeah. So, I think they should move on to Bo-Katan yeah. and do stuff with her and the Midnight Owls and all that. It's yeah. a whole different sect, it's, which I think would be cool. It's one of the most frustrating things about the Mandalorian was like, 
they finished their arc by, by giving Grogu to a Jedi. They finished it. It was done. And mm-hmm. then they were like, nah, more money. <laughs> nah. More and you know money what they to did? be made. They did that during Book of Boba Fett. Yeah. It's it's not great. Um, but yeah, I was thinking like, what, what other things would I like to see in the Star Wars shows? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I like what they're doing. Like, I think if they leaned into like, doing Star Wars stories in different genres of, like, storytelling, like mm. we got. I wish they... That's part of the reason I wish the Acolyte had more episodes so that they could lean into the murder mystery a bit more. I was more, just going to say. Instead of having the murder mystery essentially be solved in the first episode right. um, because they didn't have time to do anything else. But you could have drawn that mystery out quite a bit longer if you had right. more time, obviously. Because um, I really like that aspect of doing, like, do it knives out in Star Wars. Like, that would be sick. Um, I want, like, a straight up, like, not rom com, but, like, a Star Wars story that is, like, romance based. Like, yes. Like, if you made a show of, like, like, it's kind of, there's elements of that in this, like, Osha and Chimera, like, lean into that. Do something with that. Do, like, a, like, what is it? What does a romantic relationship look like? With like it with I was gonna say with Jedi they have some of that in like the prequels with Anakin and Padme and all that that is that is um, sort of the whole plot of the prequels it's the whole plot of the prequels but like do it better yeah do it actually <laughs> instead of let Anakin me, being let me a weirdo even rephrase for you do it good <clears throat> at all or like have a have you know a male Jedi and a female Jedi instead of like having mm. uh, Anakin and a senator lady have like yeah. what happens when you're both Jedi. And or anyone, uh, yeah. Go ahead. Um, do you you remember how they did Bad Batch and that was cool for like a minute because they were cool clones? Yeah. What if they did Delta Squad uh, during the actual Clone Wars when they're just fighting droids and stuff, and we just got to see them do crazy missions, and it was just fun, That'd be cool. like heists That'd and be stuff. Heist heist movie would be good. Yeah. Um, Delta Squad heist movie. There you go. I like the the Western vibe of the Mandalorian season one. There you go. Uh, the cowboy of it all, you know? Mm-hmm. That is true. You could do that. that. Um, a you comedy. Could do, you could do even a comedy, maybe. Probably. Um, yeah, probably not. I don't know what they're working on anymore, because this was the last... Oh, we have um, Skeleton S- Crew. They're doing Skeleton a... Skeleton like, Crew a, and a Star thing. Wars, The Mandalorian, and Grogu. <laughs> Yeah, and then there's a That's Daisy Ridley great. reprises her role as Rey as the next. Oh yeah, teaching the next generation of Jedi or something. I think you know what? Give her another shot. I think it's great. Go ahead. You know what? You know Un- what they should do? Unburdened by the Skywalker saga. Yes. Go what if they hit us with hit us with Poe Dameron Tales of the Resistance? Oh, there you go. Give Oscar po Isaac Dameron. the role he deserves. Yes. Just let him fly Let's around get- in his X-wing. Let's get more High Republic stuff, you know. Absolutely. Let's get I in there. I think that's the most, actually the most important thing. Yeah. Is getting away, as far away as we literally, literally in terms of <laughs> time and space, as yes. far away from the Skywalker saga as possible. Yeah. No prophecies. Don't, don't foretell the future. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't mention the Chosen One or Metachlorians yeah. at all. I want, I want freaking Korriban, okay? I want, <laughs> I want, or Moraband. It has two different names. Um, oh. I want, uh, what, what, what is it called? Ty Loth, the Jedi planet. Ty Loth, yeah. They went there. Yeah. They went there in Mando season three, season two, season one. Something like that, yeah. Um, I want freaking old Jedi, you know? Star Wars yeah. Jedi survivor or whatever what's the first one fallen jedi order <laughs> fallen order jedi fallen order jedi order. fallen order um, i love the episode of visions where that group of um jedi show up at a random planet and there's this old guy there you know and then they're like give us your lightsabers man you can't have those i don't remember <laughs> actually the plot of it but <laughs> and then it turns Come out back. he's a sith the whole time and then it turns out they're all sith or something i don't know just well do, there's just the do crazy stuff yeah that episode, there's like a guy who farms kyber crystals. Yes, and that's it. He, kyber crystals. He calls, he calls Jedi together, 
and these Sith get the call, and nine or oh yeah yeah, yeah. eight of the nine of them are Sith, and then one of them is an actual Jedi, and they all yeah. want lightsabers, <laughs> and then they all Sorry, fight I, him. I got all the details of that story wrong, but <laughs> that's a great episode, though. You're exactly right. We just need it's awesome. Like, we just need to pick pick a random planet, like r- literally grab a bag of dice. Let's roll some dice, okay? Yeah. Random planet, random character, random reason for fighting, random time period. Just it's and an entire galaxy, guys. Yeah. You it's guys a have galaxy of possibilities, potential, <laughs> and you guys keep focusing on sixty limitless. years. Yeah. And it's the most ridiculous thing of all time. Yeah. I think we didn't really talk about Plagueis being in it. Um, people are okay. So Star Wars theories thing was that he was mad that Plagueis got the idea to create Anakin by seeing May and Osha's existence, and he's mad about that for some well, reason, right? He he's specifically mad that the creator of the show did Leslie. this so that she could be the one that changed things that all of this came mm. from her show so that her show would be forever important in the Star Wars canon. Mm. And and I think at most somebody was like, let's put Plagueis in there. And she was she was like, okay, we'll put him in the last episode for one half a shot, yeah. shrouded in darkness <laughs> yeah. in the background. I expected him to show up again at the very end, but he doesn't even, he's just li- literally lurking in the darkness. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure all the actors were like, "Yeah, we had no idea he was in it. He's just yeah. random in there for no reason." I well, mean, yeah, not because for no he, reason, but because the stranger doesn't even hint to there being a master, uh, his own master, no, or yeah. anything. His whole we don't know thing if he's is even being alone. Know about him or yeah, yeah. And so then there, there is also with Plagueis comes the legends canon of Tenebris yeah. and. Uh, Terminus or whatever. There's a bunch of Sith Lords in this time period. And Tenebris and Terminus. They all are like... They're doing Sith experiments and learning about midichlorians. And it's like his whole deal, right? Is, is Plagueis yeah. is like trying to figure out immortality and stuff. So it makes sense that he'd be on this planet because he knows about the virgins of the force. He knows about the witches and their little experiments with Ocean and May and understanding mm. that and the, all that stuff. So it makes sense that he would learn it from these things. It, it, it's not... It, and he existed on Baldemnik, as the, this Cortosis planet is called, which is a real planet that she pulled from the legends stuff and that's another thing is that these star wars theory guys and all the derogatory star wars fans uh (laughs) are talking about how she doesn't know anything about star wars and doesn't respect the legends canon which isn't canon and has not been for almost a (laughs) literal decade at this point (laughs) okay guys exactly give it up it's over all those books written by white dudes they're gone get rid of them (laughs) throw them in the fire don't burn books i'm joking Sorry, Steve's uh, on. You I suck. apologize. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah. I she does actually like listen to interviews with her. Like I watched an interview with her in the background of her camera. She has like a bookshelf full of like Star Wars Legos and stuff. Like you have, yeah, st- <laughs> like Star Wars posters and stuff. She knows what she's talking about. Yeah, she cares. And she's about like an actual fan. Yeah, like nobody. We 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 all follow. The, all of us, you know, critics, as we'll call yeah, ourselves, yeah, yeah. we all fall into the trap of, like, dragging well, we creators th- through the mud, you know? Yeah. I've done that plenty of times. But nobody's setting out to make a bad thing. Everybody yeah. is making... Well, for the most part, most people are making things with good intentions, and they actually care about what they're making. So, like, yeah, we just need even, to, like, uh, calm even, down. Even uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson cares about Black Adam. Yeah, he cares a lot about Black Adam. Mm-hmm. With a, you, yeah, you that's, defended that movie quite a bit for that uh, sole reason. I did. Yeah, because, uh, yeah. I haven't watched it since. Yep. So, who knows? Didn't we watch that I'll together, watch it. too? Have you seen it? I watched Even? it in theaters, yeah. <laughs> you watched it in theaters, yeah. We I liked Hawkman. Hawkman was cool. Dr. Fate was cool. Is that his name, Dr. Black Fate? Animals, Come on, so. guys. Dr. Fate. What are we doing? It's Dr. Fate. his name. He's a character in the comic books. I'm pretty sure he was first. So I'm sure. That's probably not DC true. Comics is know. ancient. It is older. 
in general. Oh. Any final no. points you got to bring up? I just love Star Wars, man. I just love mm. it so much. I, love, I <laughs> just love Star Wars so much. Freaking <laughs> Star Wars. I love Star Wars so much. Um, Come on, guys. I mean, we love Star Wars. You've written play. an entire Star Wars show. I've written Star Wars music. Mm-hmm. We're Star Wars For fans. my show. Yeah, for your show. There it is. Empire. There I got little doohickeys, R4 too. D you know, I got... Eight. Something. I don't R4D8. I don't know his number. I got Black Manta over here. That's Star Wars you know for sure. Kind of looks like it. I got C-3PO. I got R2-D2. I got BB-8. I got Stormtroopers riding a bicycle through a meadow. Yeah, and, and or concept Germany. art. Oh, snap. I got... What else oh, do I got? Do I have anything else? Oh, yeah. Uh, freaking... Whoa! Uh, the Lero- toothbrush. Why is my toothbrush there? <laughs> What the heck? <laughs> Brushing your teeth just like while looking at your Millennium Falcon. <laughs> I think, yeah. That... Wow. <laughs> Maybe. It's incredible. What of, what of it? Maybe. <laughs> what I do in my free time. <laughs> look at my Legos just, and brush just... my teeth. <laughs> That's all I do. You know? Most people look at their phone. I it, help, it, helps, it, helps me, uh, it helps me brush for longer. <laughs> all right. Because <laughs> I just want to look at it forever. I just wow. I just wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Dude, okay, so we recorded an episode last week. We recorded an episode this week. Next week, Deadpool and Wolverine comes out. So we yes. have to record an episode next week. We yes. might get three episodes this month. Dude, Who knows? The the fanboys are eating. The the quarter twins. <laughs> all of our all of what our are they quarters called? twins. What are they called? I think quarters. I think we call them quarters. Quarters. All the quarters like out there. They could be our twins. Um no, they're not. We uh Oh yeah, I told you not to watch the. They released yes. a new a new Deadpool and Wolverine trailer a week before release. They released a full trailer where they re- they revealed a thing, and I just I stood back. I I sat back. I was like, really, really, <laughs> is <laughs> really it, uh, though? Is it Lady Deadpool, <laughs> or does it have something to do with the dog? Lady Deadpool was in it. Um, yeah. But we kind of, we expected that. Um, is it Blake just, Lively? Or there is was it, something uh, we the girl from the we don't know who movies. it is exactly. Okay. There was something nobody had been talking about that would have been an awesome surprise, oh. but it is not a surprise anymore to me. Dang. So all right. Well, I just right. hope I just we'll hope see that it week. remains a surprise to me. Yeah, I'm, I'm not on Twitter, uh, but I am on Instagram again, so maybe I'll get spoiled over yeah. there. We'll see. Twitter. And I, I get spoiled on TikTok and YouTube all the time. You got to be careful on TikTok. Sometimes when I sometimes when I open my YouTube app on my phone, it just plays a short right immediately yeah. as soon as I open the app. Yeah. And it's like, in this episode of Star Wars, this person died. And I'm like, Dude, what? <laughs> every, every app, like every app I use, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, everything is just becoming just a abysmal to use everything yeah. it's be- destroyed with ads the algorithm is like i open my tiktok like <clears throat> my algorithm like it so quickly thinks it knows exactly what i want to see yeah. like i all i saw was trump stuff for days because oh, like no. i stopped to watch one tiktok to see what happened on last whatever it was saturday yeah <clears throat> And then it was just like I kept scrolling like Trump, Trump, Trump. <laughs> I'm like, stop! No, I'm not interested. <laughs> I not don't interested. want this. Give me yeah. pizza videos, please. Yeah. Give me my pizza back. <laughs> I don't need any of this. Give me my video of that guy who see... picked up a bunch of tadpoles and grew them all in his tank <laughs> and then released them back into the wild. <laughs> exactly. That's what TikTok's for, man. Give me the video of the guy and... running across <sighs> Africa. <clears throat> YouTube, you know? it, it gives me like. It gives me Game Grumps stuff. I haven't watched Game Grumps in literal <laughs> years, and my feet is just <laughs> this is all the. Oh give, my gosh! Give me, I love uh, them, but get like get ready with me videos while they expose my boyfriend <laughs> as a cheater. You know what I mean? That's what I'm looking exactly. for. Exactly, exactly, dude. Give me games. I get of, like Game of Thrones. Difference between the show and the books. Yes. So I don't have to read the Let me book. Open YouTube right now. What am I seeing? Uh, Nike. I'm seeing Nikki Haley. Nike. I'm seeing <laughs> Nikki Haley. <laughs> Uh yeah, I'm seeing Stephen Colbert. Let me open. I was watching old. I, I was watching old John Stewart interviews. So I. I, I oh, I I've been getting a. a I've been getting a lot of t- uh, YouTube shorts from the TV show House. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> House. 
Hugh Laurie at his yeah, best. Yeah, all I can think of wow. is Stuart Little whenever I see him, by the way. Yeah, Stuart Little is um, a great movie. They're Stuart, <clears throat> Game of Thrones, Gam Jabbar. AOC. Uh, Star Wars Outlaws. Vivek. Um, <laughs> I've been getting a lot of, do you know, you remember Comedy Central? Yeah, I love, I, they have I watch Comedy, I watch The Daily Show. I have this <clears throat> new thing called Dropout, which is funny. They have a bunch of stuff on there. I've been thinking about subscribing because they have a uh, Dungeons and Dragons series that they like, that I like, oh, um, nice. that I would watch. Um, anyway, we got to call this an episode today because <laughs> I, I do now have to leave. The time has rolled by. All right. Um, the time has come. I appreciate talking to you so much. And Jordan. <laughs> hey, man. Gosh dang I it. I appreciate you too. <laughs> I, I want to I wanna spend more time with Jordan, you know? Yeah. I want to be yeah. closer to Jordan. If you I wish we could live in you the remember, same You remember you remember when code. we Do you remember when we did two episodes of this show together in person? Yeah. And they collectively they got about 30 views. <laughs> uh, literally yeah. our year capping episode and a live <laughs> Dune commentary. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> some great stuff. You should go check those out. There's some good stuff in there, yeah. There's some Actually, good bits. I read the Dune books, okay? I read the book. You really did. Um, but yeah, anyway. I remember, I was, sorry, I was thinking about the genesis of this show when we were at your sister's wedding. Yes. And you were like, <laughs> you were just like, dude, should we start a podcast? <laughs> well, well, we were talking about my, uh, the Batman review that I had written. Yes. That impressed you. <clears throat> it caught no, your no, eye. No, no, <laughs> no. It was, it was Far From Home. Or No Way Home. Was it? You wrote oh. in your notes app. You wrote oh, a long yeah. ranting review that you sent to me. Okay, yes. And I said, sure. this was a great review. We yeah. should talk about movies. We have good opinions. <laughs> yeah. We need to let the people know that we like The Last Jedi. Right? Yes, <laughs> These exactly. are the things. And Campaign. So, and then I was the like, Last Jedi. what if we did a podcast? Yeah. And, I and think, here we are. Still and, doing it. And I think Still going strong. Kelsey had called us quarter twins at one point <clears throat> that weekend and so it was in yeah. my head and i was like what we had quarter like twins because you and i we we started the bit of calling each other quarter twins at one point like the 100 percent or 25 percent, 100 percent, exactly the same we started saying right. that like before that before we started the podcast <clears throat> for some reason like, we're basically sad. the same we're yeah. basically the same we are the same <clears throat> Remember when we had exactly the, the other two quarters of our quarter twin together, and we had one full twin. We had one full twin, <laughs> and we talked about we talked about Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah, that was a great episode. When yeah. when are we gonna have a guest on the show again? When are you gonna get a never? <laughs> <laughs> Those never episodes again. are all rough. Way too much work. <laughs> uh, the other people's opinions are not as interesting as ours. <laughs> yeah, or their favorite movies are boring. <laughs> yeah. Except for Anna. Anna, you can, Except, you can yes, come of on course, Anna, please. You can come, come on, on anytime, Anna. <laughs> come on the show. Remember when we used to invite people on the show? Yeah. Ryan Johnson, come on the show. Come on the podcast. Yeah. That that was a bit for like two episodes. And I, <laughs> I remember uh, the amount of effort that I was putting in at the beginning, writing down <laughs> all of the jokes we said for clips and all of the timestamps. Yeah. What if we did that? <laughs> what, if what if we, we did that? What if we put time and effort into this podcast? You we tried that, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it has it has paid off one time with our Planet yep. of the Apes video, and that then we did a lot of time and another episode that. for <laughs> two months. <laughs> Listen, I have a stellar alien presentation coming up. That you I'm guys, really excited. All of you need to be looking forward to. <laughs> of course, because there would have been an episode in between this one and the Acolyte episode, but yes. I failed. Which you're welcome to do again anytime. I was also watching our (laughs) ranking the MCU episode that we did last year, where we had points for how close we were to ranking each other correctly. Apparently. That was crazy. uh, We recorded that whole thing where we tallied up the points and stuff, and I just didn't record. (laughs) Also. (laughs) And so the episode starts with us talking about (laughs) the ranking section. And then we just had to figure out how to talk about it like oh, we hadn't yeah. already done it. Um, <laughs> and I was just like, yeah, because I didn't record it or something. And I'm like, dang, oh, Joshua, yeah. you suck, dude. <laughs> how many times can you ruin a quarter twins? 
Quarter, quarter Twins podcast. Jeez, we, 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 that happened the first day, our first day on the job. Yeah. We lost our Star Wars episode. <laughs> we recorded it immediately after. Uh, uh, yeah, we just immediately did it again. We got 80 views on that episode, and then we got approximately 10 to 15 views on yeah, <laughs> episodes. What was, our, was our second episode the Batman one? <clears throat> yeah, it was. Yeah, that immediately yeah. killed it. And then we did Probably freaking Fantastic Beasts or something. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic oh, no. Beasts and Where to Find the Crimes of Grindelwald oh, no. Returns, Batman Returns. That movie's so bad. Anyway. Anyway, <laughs> I'm moving. <laughs> All right.